If you're feeling stuck in your manifestations, this might be the reason why. This could be something that you haven't even considered. Most people don't even think about this when they manifest. Most people just say, it doesn't work. If this is you, or if this has been you, I'm here to help you overcome that. Hi guys, and welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ingrid, and here we talk about spirituality, fitness, self-development and whatever else I want to talk about. So today we have another manifestation video and I've done a similar topic to this but I wanted to focus on this specific thing because I have mentioned it before but not in depth and I wanted to really elaborate on it because this is what has held me back and this is what has possibly been holding you back to and I know this for a fact because so many people don't consider this at all when they're manifesting. They don't think about this because they think manifesting is an action that you're actively taking. But in reality, that's not true. We're always manifesting. You're literally manifesting right now, 24 seven. The vibration that you're in is attracting something. And you don't have to have a thought actively right now because the thought that you had five minutes ago is probably in the process of coming to you into physicality. Does that make sense? Because of this, the vibration that you're actively in is more important than whatever thoughts you have. Not every thought is going to manifest. There needs to be momentum. There needs to be intention there. And to manifest something, you need to hold both of those things in alignment for long enough. So that's what that saying about it's as easy to manifest an elephant as it is a pen comes from because it's absolutely true. It's just that you don't believe it. But anyway, I digress because I'm not here to talk about that. We are actually going to be talking about the fact that you have two polar opposite vibrations that are constantly pulling at each other. What do I mean by that? If you're hanging around in a negative vibration more than you are hanging around in a positive vibration, don't be surprised that more of your negative manifestations are coming true. Things can only manifest if they align. So when you're feeling angry and annoyed and you know, you've started your day off really bad, you woke up late, and maybe you tripped, you stubbed your toe, and then you ran out of toothpaste. And then next thing you know, you run out of coffee or you spill it everywhere. You've got a momentum now. You've got that anger going. You're literally on a bad roll. Of course, the next step is you're going to be stuck in a traffic jam, potentially a car crash. Of course, your boss is going to yell at you. Of course, you're going to be late, etc., etc., etc. You're on a bad roll because that's the vibration you're emitting. Because you didn't think and stop, take a deep breath, maybe meditate and realign. If you want to continue on angry, you're going to have a bad day and you decide in that moment that it's going to be a bad day. Most people do that in the morning. They have a few things go wrong and it's a bad day and so that's what happens. The momentum keeps going. But if you had stopped maybe after you stubbed your toe and you're like, okay, I'm going to take a deep breath in. I'm going to realign. Maybe take the next few minutes, five minutes, just to do a little meditation before I continue with my day because I know for a fact that I'm going to have a lot more inconveniences and things that will actually make me late if I don't stop this momentum and start again. And the exact same thing is true with a positive momentum. When you wake up and it's a nice day and you're on time and you have energy and you feel great and then everything is going great, food tastes better, you get all the green lights, you have an amazing day because you started your day off right, but more importantly, because you kept up that momentum. We are influenced by our environment. We're human beings. So when things go wrong, we react. We're reactive by nature. When things go right, we react, we're happy. But what we're not taking into account is that our vibration is dictating what's coming next. So at any given moment, depending on what's going on up here, a shift can change just like that. You had a great day and then you saw one thing that upset you and you really did let that thing control your emotions you no longer are in control so now your day is going bad it's no longer a good day maybe now you're observing bad things because guys remember the world around you doesn't change your internal state changes and that changes the way you observe everything and so it's not necessarily that this is true and and this is false it's that both things are true, but depending on what vibrational state you're in, you are observing one rather than the other. And that is the absolute fact for all things. So if you want to manifest more good, you have to be in a better feeling vibration 
more of the time that you are in a vibration of not feeling good. I'm not saying you can't have bad days and bad moments, but I am saying don't hang around in those more than you hang around in the good because when that takes over you then you're going to observe and therefore experience more negative situations more negative things that you don't want to be experiencing if you've been trying to manifest more money but all you're thinking about is how little money you have your vibration isn't with more money your vibration is with the lack of money and so you're gonna get more bills you're gonna get experiences that then make you spend more money. This is what people don't understand a lot of the time. It's that your vibration indicates your future. And most of us aren't even aware of it because we are so on autopilot. We are doing the same thing every day and without even a second thought, obviously because your body learns these things and it's comfortable, without even a second thought, we're just going with the flow. Even if that flow, that momentum, is negative but if you are aware and in, in the present moment the second something unwanted happened you would be able to stop redirect and try again and then have better experiences it's not as hard as it seems you're just not present you're not there to experience life. You're not there to experience the present moment. All of our power is in the now, and this is something we all forget. When you're manifesting, you're doing it now. You're not doing it yesterday, you're doing it now. So regardless of what happened yesterday, good or bad, don't bring that momentum into the now, because it doesn't need to be here. It holds no power if you don't allow it to. If you give it the power, then it's going to take over your life. And in turn, you're going to keep doing the same thing over and over and over. And you're bringing situations from 10 years ago into your now. And those situations are affecting how you feel and how you feel affects what you experience. If you want to manifest easily and you want to manifest more good, you can't let things in the past and stories that you tell about yourself dictate your now. Unless those stories are good, then they have no place in your now. If you tell yourself you're not worthy, if you tell yourself because X, Y, and Z happened, this is the way I am now, and if you consistently hold a low vibration because of whatever might have happened and whatever story you have now created, then you are only manifesting from that place. You're not manifesting from a new and improved identity, even if you think you've changed in the past five years. The truth is for a lot of us, vibrationally, we probably haven't. Vibrationally, we're probably still angry, upset, guilty, whatever it might be. And those are low scale vibrations. Obviously, you're going to feel happy one day or one moment and then angry the next or blah, blah, blah. We're human beings. We are going to experience a full range of emotions. But the key is to feel the higher frequency emotions more often than the lower frequency emotions. Because high frequency emotions mean that you have a high frequency vibration and a high frequency vibration therefore attracts high frequency experiences so this is why i always tell people just have more fun because naturally we're gonna be happier when we're actually doing shit we like when we're actually having fun your vibration is obviously going to elevate and you're going to bring those manifestations that you were probably trying to actively manifest say a week ago into your experience because your inner being is not going to forget what you want. It always knows. You're still holding the vibration of what your desire is. Your desire is so strong. It's not going to go away. You don't need to constantly repeat it. Sorry, camera had a moment, so a bit of a different angle. But as I was saying, what you do need to be aware of is the vibration that you are more consistently hanging around in. That's what's going to bring your manifestations to you. You can do your techniques and you can do your manifesting rituals and you can do all of that. But if after you're done doing that, you go straight back to scrolling on social media and feeling upset or jealous or envious because you're seeing people have what you don't, then you are immediately emitting the vibration of lack. So of course your manifestation is not going to come. If you've been trying to manifest a relationship and again, you've done the techniques, you've done whatever it is, affirmations, whatever. But then as soon as you're done with that, you go and get 
angry and upset and you start feeling like this isn't working and you're never going to get a relationship and whatever else then of course you're going to miss all of the opportunities the universe might not bring things to you exactly how you expect it but when you're in that lack vibration how are you going to allow your manifestations to come maybe a friend messaged you hey come out to this bar with me i have a friend here and she's visiting from out of town or whatever but you're going to be like, I don't want to go because I'm not in the mood. I'm upset. Rather than seeing that might be the opportunity for the relationship you've been waiting on. Rather than seeing that's literally a doorway. You're just not going to be in the mood. You're going to be upset. You're going to be feeling a lack. You're going to be having feelings of low self-worth. And in that lack energy. In that lack vibration. And so you've just missed an opportunity. A manifestation because they do happen like that the universe is giving you those steps the universe is always giving us what we want but if we're not in a vibration of receiving we won't so once again hang around in the positive vibrations more than you do in the negative ones and it will all happen for you effortlessly and that's how it's supposed to happen and if you are more spirituality law of attraction manifestation even fitness videos and as of very recently, even a little bit of DIY fashion, then please make sure that you subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!